So the world needs to know you So they can be saved So give me your glory Your Shekinah glory, yes Lord Say the world needs to know you So they can be saved So wear me your glory, O oh Lord Your Shekinah glory, yes Lord Say the world needs to know you So they can be saved they can be delivered from the lies and the falsehood and the deception of the enemy. So give me your glory. Let me go for you. I need your Shekinah glory. I put my glory on you, says the Lord. I wear my glory on you, says Jesus. The Christ, I'll put my glory on you, says the Lord. I'll wear my glory on you, yeah. Cause the world needs to know me, says the Lord, so they can be saved. So I'll wear you my glory, Sharabande, my Shekinah glory, Shekin in the Bosaya. The world needs to see me, to know me, so they can come out of darkness into light. So I'll wear you my glory, my Shekinah glory. Yes, the world needs to know me. They need to know the truth, because God is truth, God is light, and Jesus Christ is truth, and Jesus Christ is, is Lord, He's God, God the Son, His light is truth. His God in man that came to save man. His God that became flesh. That man may be saved. That man may be redeemed. That man may be called out of darkness and returned to light. His ori original position in the beginning when the Lord made man. The world needs to, to know the Lord. They need to know truth. Because only the truth can save. Only the truth can set men free from the bondage of lies and the deception of the devil who has perverted and corrupted the world by his system. So this is the body and the heart of the Father. The world needs to know, they need to know truth. They need to see truth, they need to see light, they need to come to, to light. The veils need to be taken off their faces, off their minds. The ignorance needs to go so they can have knowledge. So they can have knowledge of the truth. Not every knowledge is the truth. But only the wisdom and the knowledge that comes from the Lord, that comes from God, Yeshua HaMashiach, that comes from Jehovah Almighty, that comes from Yahweh, Adonai, the Almighty Creator, the one who formed us, the one who made us. He is truth, He is light. No man knows God more than God. <laughs> and no one else can be God except God. Man cannot teach God His ways. God teaches man His ways. Hallelujah. Is the other way. Man should return to God and not God returning to man. But God already humbled himself in the person of Jesus and came to man. He lowered himself. He humbled himself and came to man to save man. Man owes himself the duty of returning to God in the person of Jesus Christ. Else, anyone who would not return to God in Christ, through Christ, will be condemned and judged already. That is the gospel. That is the, that is the word of the Lord. So the Lord is raising and seeking men, devoted vessels who are willing to, to lay down their lives, to be selfless, to die to the world. So he can put his glory on them. He can wear them his glory like a garment so they can go out there and manifest his kingdom because only his kingdom can save. His kingdom brings light. His kingdom is power. Hallelujah. So this is what the Lord is saying. This is what this is about. And we're in the last days, the very, very last days of the last days. And the Lord is still crying out. Grace is still speaking. Mercy is still speaking for all men all over the earth. The Lord still wants to save. The Lord still wants to deliver. The Lord still wants to mend broken hearts. The Lord still wants to restore lives. He still wants to restore hope in men. He still wants to build up men. And he's depending on you and I if we truly submit to him so he can put his glory on us. So we can be his feet and his hands on the earth to go to the whole earth 
preaching the gospel, revealing his kingdom. To preach the gospel is to reveal the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. To preach the gospel of the kingdom is to reveal the kingdom of God. Because the kingdom of God is not just in word, but in power. It's of power. And whatsoever the gospel of truth, the gospel of the kingdom of Jesus Christ, the true gospel is preached, his kingdom is revealed, his kingdom is manifested, and souls are saved. Souls are convicted to repentance, and souls are saved, and they come into the kingdom. So the preaching of the gospel of the kingdom of God is the revelation of the kingdom of God. So when we preach the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, we are revealing the kingdom and also releasing his kingdom. Hallelujah. We are not only revealing Jesus, we are releasing his power, his anointing on the people to break their yokes, to tear their veils apart and to bring them to light, to bring them in. Hallelujah. To bring them into his love. That's what the gospel is. So that's why the gospel is the power of God unto salvation. We cannot keep quiet. We must preach the gospel because Preaching the gospel is revealing the kingdom and releasing the kingdom, releasing the anointing, the power to break yokes and set men free. Hallelujah. Lord, I give you the glory. Thank you for this revelation. Blessed be your name, Lord. For the whole earth, the whole world, everyone is waiting for the manifestation. The endless creation is groaning, is yearning, is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. That is the season we are in right now. And the Lord is saying, where are my sons and daughters? I want to put my glory on them because it's glory season. It's glory time. The kingdom needs to be revealed and be released so that men can come in, so the harvest can come in because we're in the harvest season. We're in the harvest season. So get up, brothers and sisters. Get up, get up, get up. It's time to move. It's time to get enrolled. It's time to get equipped. Hallelujah. It's time to be, to be numbered in the army of the Lord. It's time. It's time to arise. It's time to shun the world. It's time to shun self and everything that is flesh. And just pursue the spirit life. Because that is a life that gives power and authority over the devil. The flesh life has no power, has no authority. But we have the power, have the authority in Christ Jesus. When we give ourselves to pursue the spirit life and to live it, that is the kingdom. Amen. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit manifesting, glorifying Jesus. So I'll give you my glory, my Shekinah glory. So I put my glory on you. <laughs> so you can reach to the world for me. That's what the Lord is saying. I'll wear you my glory, my Shekinah glory. Shekabalusata. My kingdom, my kingdom, glory, power, and authority. Because I want the world to be saved. I want the world to return to me. I want men to return to me. I want the sinners to return to me. I want the etes to return to me. I want every man to return to me. Because Jesus died for every man. God loves all of mankind. But the devil is busy on the earth, in the world, polluting men and turning the hearts of men against God, the one who loves them, the one who made them. But we will continue to arise and speak the truth of the Father and preach the gospel. And those that will be saved will be saved. Because at the end of the day, God is not going to impose salvation on anybody. Because he gave man already the free will. But we pray that the Holy Ghost will move and convict hearts. When we preach the gospel, that the kingdom will be released to convict hearts to repentance. And to judge the enemy. The enemy that has put man in bondage. <laughs> Glory to God.